Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Leah Toshie, welcome. And today we are doing my July favorites. I wanna apologize ahead of time if you can hear any construction outside. They are doing construction non-freaking stop on both like all sides of our house. So it's just always loud. And if you can hear, I'm so sorry I have my mic on. It should drown out some of the sound, but I apologize ahead of time. And before we get into the video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Don't forget, I do have a weekly vlog series here on my channel and then some other reviews coming up as well. So make sure you're subscribed and turn on that notification bell. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so first we're gonna talk about some fitness related stuff. This is my favorite category. So first I have two new sports bras. The first one is this Lululemon sports bra. I got it on Amazon actually. I didn't go to Lulu and get it. I was actually on Amazon looking for Lululemon dupes and I came across this actual Lululemon sports bra. And because of the color of it, I couldn't not buy it. I've been on the hunt for bright, colorful sports bras. I like, I'm very weird. I like my black and grays and whites, but then I randomly like bright colored things when it comes to fitness. So when I saw this, I was like, have to get it. And this is actually the sports bra that I was looking for a dupe for. Um, this is the, I think it's called free to be or something like that. I have this sports bra in a white and light blue color and I absolutely love that. That one I had got on clearance at a Lulu store so it was a lot more affordable. And ever since I bought that one, I've been wanting to buy the same that same sports bra in other colors because that's my all time favorite sports bra. I love the way it fits and I like that it's a smaller sports bra. So I will say if you're a bigger chested person, you might not like this because it is so narrow between the top and the bottom. It literally fits me perfectly. If it was any smaller, <laughs> it is like borderline, but I absolutely love the way that it fits. Again, it's my favorite sports bra. Now, that being said, if you are not willing to pay that Lululemon price, I got you, because I'm usually not willing to either. I also found this sports bra on Amazon and it is a literal dupe to the sports bra I just showed you from Lululemon. The back straps are slightly different. The Lulu one is just a little bit more strappy. So the Lulu one has all these straps in the back. The Amazon dupe one only has a couple of the straps in the back. But as far as the rest of the entire sports bra, I swear it is the exact same. Like it might be, I don't know. It's literally almost the same exact thing, material wise, fit, everything, shape. So this is the, I don't even know what the brand is, but I'll have it in the description box. This is the one I got from Amazon that is not Lululemon, but it's an exact dupe for that sports bra. I've tried it on, I've worn it in a workout. I actually wore it yesterday, so it's actually dirty, but it fits exactly the same way this one fits for a fraction of the price. And I wanna say that they had a bunch of different colors as well. I just only bought one because I wanted to make sure that I liked it before I went and ordered like 10 more of them, but I'm gonna be ordering like 10 more of them <laughs> because it's so good. And then something I've been meaning to share with you guys for literally ever. They are the best dupe for the Lulu Align biker shorts. I have the Lulu Align biker shorts. I have two pairs, one pair, two pair. I don't know, I love them, but again, the price is just high. Like your girl doesn't have a job. So I have to find some ways around that. But specifically what I love about the Lululemon Align shorts and leggings is that they give me such a shape and I have no shape. So I love them, like the waist, it's just so good. Like you can buy obviously biker shorts from anywhere, Target, Amazon, probably Walmart, all of these Instagram stores, I'm sure you can. And I have bought a ton of them, but none of them snatch that waist like the Aligns do until I found these on Amazon. So this is one pair that I have. These are the cheetah print ones, but I literally have four black ones, four black ones because I wear black so often. And I have this one, I have blue, red, purple. I have a dark gray and a light gray. And I think that's it, but they fit so good. These are the only other biker shorts. And mind you, I have bought five other brands on Amazon of biker shorts, Gymshark, a bunch of different biker shorts from online stores. None of them 
snatch the waist like the Lulu lines, like these Amazon shorts right here. The only difference between the lines and these is that these have pockets, so it's almost even better because you can slide your phone in it. To me, the waistband is the same. The fabric is the same. These might be slightly thicker, but barely. And then the only negative is that it does or can give you a camel but so do the Lululemon Aligns. So like if I'm gonna have a camel toe at the gym, I would rather have it for $19 than 58 or 68 or however much the shorts are, you know what I'm saying? Honestly though, if, the, if a camel toe really drives you nuts and you're like super like not okay with that, don't get them. However, if you give zero fucks, like me then get them and they fit perfect and they make me feel so good and so cute and so confident every time i wear them to the gym they make my butt and my waist just so good and last but not least for gym related things i got some new grips these are also from amazon these are the cobra grips um if you're not familiar with what these are or what they do um they're for lifting heavy weights if you i mean it can be for several reasons for me i have very very weak i guess forearm and hand strength so i can lift more than what my hands will allow me to lift because my hands just can't hold all the weight on the bar so these come in handy for that because it takes the pressure out of your hands and arms You just wrap it around your wrist like this another reason I mean, I don't care about this But I, I know some girls probably don't want massive calluses on their hands So this can help with that But you just wrap it around your wrist like this and then this goes in your hand And then you can either grip the bar with it like this like you kind of cup it or i've seen people do it The reverse way so you can put it like this either way. It's gonna hold the bar for you It's kind of like a rubbery. I think these ones are actually leather but they're like a rubbery leathery feeling with a good grip so it just helps you lift heavy weights you know what i'm saying i have tried the straps i know a lot of fitness influencers sell the strap version of these i wish i had some i actually do have some in my gym back downstairs but i'm not about to go get them but they're the same concept they go around your wrist but instead of an easy rubber grip like this they have a long strap that you wrap around the barbell before you lift it and to me one they don't grip well in my opinion and two you have to wrap it around with your hand so once you have one hand wrapped you have to then wrap the other side with the hand like with the same hand so it's like really hard and the grip is just never good or tight i personally hate them i have tried to like them and i don't so these have been the best they're very similar to versa grips if you've ever had versa grips i used to have them but they got stolen so i went on amazon and bought the cobra grips they have them in different colors and in my opinion they're the best thing ever Next, I have a bunch of swimsuits that I got for summer and I got them all on Zoffel. Um, if you've never ordered from Zoffel before, they're super, super cheap, but the quality is really good. So this is the first one and probably my favorite one. The top looks like this. It's like your normal triangle top, but it doesn't tie up around the neck. It's actually more like a bra. So the straps are adjustable like a bra and then it just ties around your back like a normal bikini. But the reason I love the swimsuit is because of the bottoms. They're so cute. They're they're super high-waisted, which is what I'm always looking for when it comes to bikinis because that's the only way that I kind of have a shape. Low-rise is just not for me. So these are high-waisted. And my favorite part about these bottoms, the bottoms are adjustable like a bra strap. Y'all see that? You can literally tighten it or loosen it on the bottom strap. Like, Every bottom should be made like this. Miracle. So it fits so good. I absolutely love it. And then I love that it's like this really pretty orange color. The next one I got, I should have tied all these so you guys can see it better. The next one I got is this one. It is a velvet navy blue bikini. It's so cute. And it's not your typical triangle top. It kind of, I don't know. It's kind of, it reminds me of like a star. It kind of has a star shape. It's so beautiful. It fits so beautifully. And then the bottoms are, the bottoms are a tie bottom triangle, pretty small. So it's definitely thong-esque. So if you don't like that, you won't like these, but so cute. I love the fabric. I've never had like this velvety type of swimsuit before, but I really, really like it. So this one's really cute. Oh, and by the way, all the swimsuits, top and bottom, I got in a size US 4. 
so this is the next one it's a really cute print it's almost like a i don't know it has some cheetah but then it has like this under the sea vibe with like the gold i don't know it's really really cute though i love this light blue color it's shaped like your normal triangle top except the triangle part goes in versus like up like this again these straps go straight back like a bra strap as opposed to tying around your neck and i'm kind of loving that on bikinis lately i don't really love the tie around the neck vibe it always hurts and then i have like these oversized unnecessary traps that I can't get rid of for the life of me and when it ties over the neck like that it like emphasizes it not cute so I really really like these bra style bikini tops and then the bottom is just a, another high-waisted thong type kind of has this v-shape so it's it's very flattering and super cute the next one i got is this really cute black bikini i love a black bikini i love a black everything this is the top it has this little strap underneath so it kind of has a little peekaboo of the under boob it's really really cute on the top fits really really perfect but the bottoms i definitely should have sized down they're way too big on the waist but this is probably my favorite shape of a bikini bottom because i love that it has a thick strap around the waist and then it's like a small triangle but it's super high-waisted and this bottom is just so flattering to any body shape it's just so pretty and last but not least i got these bottoms but i didn't get a top with it because i think the top was sold out but i just had to get it because it's such a jamaican rasta vibe it's these really cute bottoms it's tie-dye like it's just like an island dream like why would you not get this it's that really cute almost like what is that style it's like almost like a tarzan style bikini bottoms i don't know what they're called but it's high-waisted can't go wrong i paired this when i tried it on i paired it with a white bikini top but you can really pair with anything honestly mismatching is like a thing these days so you can pair it with anything but if you have like a yellow bikini top green or this reddish orangish color white maybe even black i think this was like eight dollars or something crazy like that i don't remember but I'll have everything linked down below. Next, I got this really cute shirt from a friend's brand. Is that a fucking ice cream truck? It is. Where is it? I hear it, but I don't see it. Okay, anyways. <laughs> So one of my friends on Instagram, her sister started a brand called Code and they were nice enough to send me some of their product. So this is a shirt from them. It's really, really cute, but it says unlock what's within, which I love. The back has their logo really big on it, which I think is really cool actually. And then they actually also sent me these really cool socks. I'm wearing them right now. They're just a plain white tube sock, which I love. All my socks at this point are pretty much high white tube socks like this. These are perfect for my sock collection. And they have the logo right there that says code with the lock. I think it's so cute. I'm obsessed and I love me an oversized t-shirt. My ultimate favorite outfit right now for summer is my biker shorts from Amazon with an oversized t-shirt with some high socks and my high top white converse, full beat face and some jewelry. That is my perfect summer outfit right now. So definitely check them out on Instagram. I'll have them linked down below. They are a small business and we love supporting small businesses. It's also black owned, which we fully support. So definitely go check them out. The next thing I wanted to share is actually not a summer outfit. It's definitely fall, winter. I got it technically in June, not July, but I don't think I shared it in my June favorites. If I did, I'm sharing it again because I can't remember, but I'm obsessed but it's actually a matching set and part of the matching set are the sweatpants that I have on right now. They're kind of a grayish cream colored sweatpant and then it came with a matching sweatshirt. Well, it didn't come with, like you can buy them separately, but I bought them together. They're both from Meshki and you guys know that I have been on the hunt for the perfect sweatpants that are long enough and fit right and i can never ever ever find it it's like whenever i'm looking for sweatpants they're either too short and if you're tall you're just screwed but the quality of them is good or they're long enough and fit like a dream but then the quality is shit but these sweatpants fit perfectly and i literally never thought i'd see the day i would say i'd want them to be a smidge longer but i did get them in an extra small just because when i see a brand promote something as oversized that means on me it's going to be 
ginormous so i typically try to get the smallest i can so i got it in an extra small but they're kind of snug so i could actually probably get a small and they would be perfect but i love the way these fit as well they are like the best quality sweatpants i've ever purchased and the price does reflect that they were not cheap but so worth it so worth it and then the sweatshirt is perfection fits like a dream so soft I don't even know like why it's so soft. What material is this? 85% cotton, 15% polyester, and then the ribbed part is 100% cotton. It is so freaking soft. So it just says mesh key right here, really small. And then on the back, in the corner, there's like these longitude latitude numbers. I don't know, I should look up where that is, but those same numbers are on the pants right above the knee too. Absolutely obsessed and I shit you not, I would wear this set every single day of my life if I could. Next, I wanted to share all of my new earrings. I have been obsessed with decorating my ear lately and trying to make my ear more pretty <laughs> with my jewelry. So almost all of my earrings at this point are from Etsy and I will have them all linked down below. But I have these four really cute tiny hoops. I just love how simple and dainty they are. I love it mixed with like the more chunky jewelry. And then in my second hole on both sides, I have these small but more chunky gold hoops. Absolutely obsessed. I just got these in the other day and they are perfect. And then I have these bigger hoops for my first holes and these came in a set of three along with two other pairs of earrings that are also really cute. Then I have my conch piercing which is this gold hoop that I also got from Etsy. And then my new favorite earring and piercing is this little gold butterfly right here. I got my conch double pierced and I got this really cute little gold butterfly. The gold matches perfectly with the rest of my earrings. That's my newest piercing. I just got it three days ago while I was in Houston. I went to 713 Tattoo. So if you're in Houston, definitely check them out. They did a really good job and they have really, really nice, good quality jewelry there. But I absolutely love my new little butterfly. I named her Lillian and she looks perfect with the rest of the group. And then next I have one of my new favorite things for this month, like one of my favorite things I got, which is like, it's kind of weird and nerdy, but I love, I love school supplies, office supplies, pens. I love pens, planners. Y'all know I love my planners, notebooks, like the whole thing, backpacks. I just love it. It's like, it's like the organization of it, I think. But I got this new backpack on Amazon and I'm absolutely, obsessed with it if you watch my vlogs i already showed it off in the vlogs before i went to houston and it was the perfect backpack for traveling but it has a front pocket right here and then i love how it opens in the center as opposed to how a normal backpack opens it has all of the different compartments that you need a compartment for your laptop it has another little pouch in there for anything really but i put my cords in it they have your typical small pouches right here for like your chapstick or whatever else you can put in there it has a zipped part and then it's a pretty large size backpack so it fits everything you would possibly need i put clothes in here that wouldn't fit in my suitcase along with all of my computer and cords and chargers and everything and all of my camera equipment mics everything fit in here perfectly one of the main reasons i got it is because of the straps usually when i travel i have to carry a lot of stuff in here because i'm usually bringing a lot of electronics computer camera equipment all of that and if you don't have good straps the backpack will kill your shoulders walking around the airport all damn day. So the straps were super comfortable. I never felt like my backpack was killing my back or anything, even as heavy as it was. But on top of that, if you ever do want to just carry it as opposed to wearing it on your back, it also has these straps here on both sides so you can carry it more like a purse or briefcase. It is just the most perfect backpack and it came in all kinds of different colors and patterns. So if you like a brighter color backpack or if you like floral prints stripes and all that they have those options as well but this is like the best backpack i've ever had and it's from amazon and last but not least i wanted to share with you guys my new favorite youtube channel slash podcast it is a podcast but they do film most of their episodes for youtube as well so you're able to watch it i personally am not a podcast person i do like podcasts like listening to people talk about different topics and things like that but 
I'm just such a visual person, I like to watch it. So I prefer when a podcast is also on YouTube so I can watch them having the conversations and see what the people look like as opposed to just listening to it. And if you are familiar with Drag Race or drag queens, famous drag queens in general, it is actually Trixie Mattel and Katya's podcast. It's called The Bald and the Beautiful and it is hilarious. I could literally sit and watch them talk forever like i wish that they had even more episodes than they have now because i'm telling you i can binge watch them they are so hilarious they are just the funniest most entertaining duo like perfect for a podcast so if you are bored with your current podcast or youtube channels definitely check them out you will not be disappointed but that is pretty much it for my july favorites i hope you guys enjoyed as always don't forget to comment down below some of your favorites so the rest of us can check it out and don't forget to subscribe give this video a thumbs up follow me on instagram and tiktok and i will see you guys in the next video bye